So I've been a Helix user since about 2016, and I've had my particular unit since 2017. Uh, I've used it a lot, and I've dreaded the day that I would lose some kind of foot switch functionality. You know, it happens, things go bad. You know, two of them were starting to wear out, two foot switches, and I contacted Line 6 and they wanted me to send it in for repair, pay for it. I didn't want to do that. So I decided to open it up and try my hand at not screwing things up royally. And I documented it, for better or for worse. <clears throat> That's scary. <laughs> Have that not ever happen again. Real quick disclaimer for you guys. I am not a repair tech when it comes to any kind of guitar gear. I used to fix washing machines and refrigerators at one point in my life, and this is nothing like that. I've made some mistakes. I probably wouldn't want to do this again. It was pretty nerve-wracking. And uh, there are some things you can do to really screw up your device. So uh, if you're going to do this, proceed with caution. Uh, I suggest not doing this, because you could really screw something up. Yeah. Let's do this. These screws I'm screwing with right here don't need to come out, so don't bother yourself with these. Also, if you're putting 3M dual lock or any kind of Velcro anywhere, try to avoid the screws and you'll have an easier time than I did. There's those screws that didn't need to come out. You also do not need to take off this side of the wing with the expression pedal. As you can see, I figured that out the hard way. I think this was a bad move, putting this one, this one out. I'm gonna put this one back in. I've gone too far. Now's the part where I needed to remove the glue from the ribbon cable connectors. Ah. <sighs> 
this. This is what I don't like. The glue from this one is stuck to the ribbon cable. <sighs> I really don't want to break something. But if I can get in there and I can cut the glue way. <sighs> Either I'm incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. I think I'm incredibly stupid. <laughs> That glue cut away from the wire, ribbon cable. Well, not even half. Maybe I should try, try to take the glue off first. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. The ribbon cable. The ribbon cable seems fine, but this, this glue job was not fine at all. Consider my warranty void. Well, this is an old unit, so it is what it is. scary. Let's have that not ever happen again. These foot switches, I'm going to call them foot switch areas, I don't know what to call them. Now all these little suckers got to come out. All the screws. There. This is another part you're going to have to watch for because in between the foot switches and the mini switches are these little springs and little plunger pieces that will fall out, will get all over the place, and you will have to look for them. I'm using some deoxid contact cleaner to clean inside the mini switches. These are the mini switches and what they look like. They're really small. And these are what get gunked up and cause foot switch failures. What I'm doing is I'm using a cloth to create a bed around the switch as to not get any overspray anywhere else, especially the LCD screens. Pushing the buttons over and over to get it worked in there.
I also decided to spray into some of the more gunkier foot switches to hopefully try to clean them out a little bit. So when I put my helix back together, it didn't work right away. It took a little bit of play with the foot switches before they started working like they used to. So it worked. And I was very surprised that I didn't destroy anything. And here's my helix floor a few months now after I had repaired the foot switches. This one was my is pretty much my lead my lead button and I use it all the time I want to go you know into our lead solo and here's my reverb button and now they're working just fine it used to be you know I would push it and it would turn on and then I would let go of the button it would turn back off so it wouldn't quite register or sometimes it just wouldn't register any clicks at all and now they work great 